Have you ever wondered why some people express their love through actions rather than words? In the intricate world of love and relationships, we encounter a unique aspect known as acts of service. This love language is all about expressing affection through actions rather than verbal expressions. Imagine coming home after a long day to find your partner has cooked your favorite meal, or perhaps they've taken the time to fix that squeaky door hinge that's been bothering you. These are acts of service, actions taken to ease the burdens of daily life for the one you love. It's about showing you care by doing things that make your partner's life a little easier, a little more comfortable. Acts of service can be as simple as making a cup of coffee in the morning or as significant as planning a surprise vacation. These actions speak louder than words, demonstrating that you're attuned to your partner's needs and willing to help fulfill them. This love language is grounded in empathy, kindness, and mutual respect. It's about understanding your partner's world, recognizing their needs, and stepping in to help. When acts of service are genuine, they foster a deep sense of connection and appreciation. They show that you're not just listening, but you're taking action to support your partner, to make their life a bit better. However, like all love languages, acts of service can be misunderstood or misused. It's important to recognize the difference between acts of service that are genuine expressions of love and those that may have ulterior motives. It's the intention behind the action that truly defines its meaning. So when you experience acts of service, take a moment to appreciate the intent behind the action. Is it a genuine act of love or is there something else at play? Understanding this love language can be a powerful tool in building and maintaining healthy, fulfilling relationships. Acts of service, when genuine, can foster deep connections and mutual respect in relationships. As we unravel the complexities of love languages, we'll discover how to navigate the fine line between genuine acts of service and those that may not be what they seem. Stay tuned for more insights as we delve deeper into this intriguing love language. But what happens when acts of service become a tool for manipulation? Picture this, a charismatic man always ready to lend a helping hand. He seems perfect, right? But underneath this facade of kindness, there may lurk a narcissist wielding acts of service as a weapon of control. Narcissists are experts at twisting the narrative. They perform acts of service not out of genuine care, but as a means to establish power and control. They'll fix your car, cook your meals, or help with your work, all the while subtly implying that you owe them, that you're dependent on them. It's a manipulative dance where acts of service are the steps leading to a twisted tango of control. These acts can be so subtle that you may not even realize you're being manipulated. The narcissist's kindness becomes a mask, hiding their true intentions. So it's crucial to remember. Recognize that not all acts of service come from a place of genuine love and care. So, how does this deceptive kindness affect the recipient? Imagine a stream of acts of service, seemingly done out of love. Yet beneath this veneer of kindness, a narcissist is pulling strings, manipulating the relationship for their own gain. This is deceptive kindness, a complex and emotionally draining aspect of dealing with a narcissistic partner. The recipient, typically a woman, often finds herself in a whirlwind of emotions. She may feel confused, wondering if these acts of service are genuine expressions of love or mere tools of control. This confusion can be deeply unsettling, causing her to question her judgment and the integrity of the relationship. Then there's the guilt. She might feel guilty for doubting her partner's intentions, especially when he's seemingly going out of his way to do things for her. This guilt then becomes a powerful tool in the hands of the narcissist, making her more susceptible to manipulation. The potential for manipulation is indeed vast. The narcissist can use acts of service to create a sense of obligation, to exert control, or to divert attention from other harmful behaviors. The woman may end up feeling trapped, walking on eggshells, and constantly trying to decipher the true intentions behind each act of service. Understanding the emotional impact of such deceptive kindness is the first step towards protecting oneself. How can one protect themselves from such manipulation? The answer lies in setting healthy boundaries. Now, what does that mean? It's about creating a line in the sand, a clear definition of what is acceptable and what is not. It's about asserting your needs and standing firm in your values. Here's a strategy to consider. Clearly communicate your expectations. 
If your partner's acts of service are making you uncomfortable, express this openly and honestly. Another strategy is to assert your independence. You are not reliant on their acts of service. Remember, you are perfectly capable of taking care of yourself. And don't forget self-care. It's not selfish. It's necessary. Make time for things that bring you joy and peace. This will help you maintain your emotional well-being. Remember, a relationship should enhance your life, not drain it. Boundaries are not walls. They're guidelines that foster respect and equality. Boundaries are your personal guidelines, and they are crucial in any relationship. How can one communicate effectively in such a situation? This question often arises when dealing with complexities in a relationship where acts of service are the primary love language, and even more so when these acts are tinged with narcissistic behavior. The key lies in open, honest communication. Now this might sound simple, but it can be a real challenge. The first hurdle is to recognize and acknowledge the problem. Once you've done that, it's important to express your feelings and concerns clearly. Try to use I statements to communicate how you feel. This helps to avoid sounding accusatory and encourages the other person to listen and understand. At the same time, it's crucial to maintain a firm stance about your boundaries and needs. Remember, it's not about blaming or arguing, but about expressing your feelings and seeking a balanced relationship. It's a tough road, but remember, clear and honest communication can provide a path out of manipulation. But how does one distinguish between genuine and manipulative acts? It may seem a daunting task, but with a keen eye and a mindful heart, it's entirely possible. Manipulative acts of service often carry a sense of obligation. They're like invisible strings attached to seemingly kind gestures. If you find yourself constantly feeling indebted, or if gestures of love are repeatedly used as leverage during disputes, these could be signs of manipulation. Contrastingly, genuine acts of service are given freely, without expectation of reciprocity. They're fueled by love and the desire to make your life easier or happier. Remember, love is not a transaction, and you should never feel like you're in emotional debt. Manipulative individuals may also use acts of service to control or restrict you subtly. If you notice your partner using their gestures to limit your independence or decision-making capacity, it's time to take note. Now, let's talk about building resilience. Emotional resilience is your shield in the face of manipulation. It's about maintaining your self-worth and not allowing anyone to erode it. But how can you cultivate this resilience? Firstly, practice self-compassion. Understand that it's okay to feel hurt or confused. Acknowledge your feelings without judgment and remember, your worth is not defined by how someone else treats you. Secondly, maintain your individuality. Do not let your identity be consumed by your relationship. Engage in activities that you enjoy, nurture your passions, and spend time with people who uplift you. This will fortify your sense of self and make you less vulnerable to manipulation. Finally, cultivate a growth mindset. See challenging experiences as opportunities for growth rather than setbacks. This perspective shift can empower you to navigate difficult situations with grace and strength. Remember, resilience is not about never falling, but about getting back up every time you do. It's about learning, growing, and becoming stronger with each experience. Recognizing manipulative acts and building resilience is key to maintaining one's self-worth. And remember, you are deserving of a love that is free, respectful, and genuine. Where can one turn for help in such situations? This question may often haunt those entangled in the web of acts of service performed by narcissistic partners. The very first step is acknowledging that it's okay, actually more than okay, to seek help. In the face of adversity, remember that your friends and family are often your first line of defense. They know you, they care about you, and they can provide a fresh perspective on what you're experiencing. They can offer comfort, advice, and the reassurance that you're not overreacting or misinterpreting the situation. However, friends and family may not always fully grasp the complexities of your situation. They might not understand how a narcissist can use acts of service to manipulate and control. This is where professionals come into play. Psychologists, therapists, and counselors are trained to help you navigate these troubled waters. They can offer you effective strategies, equip you with tools to set boundaries, and provide you with insights to distinguish between genuine acts of service and manipulative ones. Additionally, support groups can be a lifeline. 
Connecting with others who have experienced similar situations can be incredibly empowering. It can remind you that you're not alone, that others have walked this path and come out stronger on the other side. So don't hesitate to reach out. Don't let the narcissist's acts of service isolate you. Remember, you are not alone. Reach out for support when you need it.